It's so cold in the car. Come on, heater. Blast me. Uh, it's cold air. Uh, please get warm. I know I live in LA, but geez, I, I really, really can't take the cold. It's like my least favorite thing. We're going to Pilates. What a great feeling. Finished my workout. My legs feel like jello. I am starving. I'm gonna make some lunch and thank God for my HelloFresh delivery. It arrived today and I'm stoked. I also wanna give a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. They have been amazing partners. I have been using HelloFresh for a solid year now and I absolutely love it because one, it's freaking delicious. I have yet to have like a bad meal with HelloFresh. They have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit out there. Number two, I love how flexible they are. Me and Ben both bop around a lot and we travel and our schedules can be really, really intense. I love the fact that I can change the delivery days when I need to and skip a week if you know I'm not in town. And third, HelloFresh really helps with my decision fatigue because I make so many choices, so many damn choices every single day that by the time it's like meal time, I'm like, I don't even know what I wanna eat. So it's nice that HelloFresh just already has these like pre-portioned ingredients. I don't need a prep, it's all in this bag. So it's just actually less food waste and I can save a lot on time. Each recipe can take up to like 20 to 30 minutes. So really, really quick, I am going to be making this for lunch today. This is the frijoles fresca bowls. Mmm. I use literally the smallest can at all times. This looks so freaking good. I'm so excited to dig in. Mmm, mmm. So HelloFresh is now from 566 per serving. And if you have been on the fence of trying HelloFresh, now is the time. They have a New Year's sale. You can go on HelloFresh.com, enter the code CLOSE10, and you get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Like if that's not the deal of the century, I don't know what is. Definitely go check it out. I will leave a link in my description box. Mmm. Whaley just came over and she gave me a bag of oranges plucked from her tree. Organic. Homegrown organic oranges <laughs> from my backyard. What we're supposed to be doing is journaling. So I brought over my supplies, but you know, the girl talk session had to like squeeze in there. So like we've been talking for like two hours now. That's true, we have gotten nothing done. Got nothing done, but nothing we're starting done. now. <laughs> um, I'm editing and then we're journaling. You're setting up your, your life for the year. <laughs> I wish we could have recorded them running around earlier. I know, they were having a freaking marathon. Oh, starting. oh is it starting yet? No. I'm gonna have a bite of one of these oranges. Oranges are my favorite fruit, actually. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sweet. They're sweet. Mm. Wow. Good morning, it is Sunday. I am currently getting ready to go to the Rose Bowl flea market. Like they have the best vintage. And that's where I found like my vintage Pink Floyd tank. I found like my first like acid wash vintage denim shorts like 10 years ago when it was so difficult to find. A lot of the stuff that I got at the Rose Bowl, I still keep to this day. But this time I'm going with Ben and we're gonna start looking for stuff for the house. Like I definitely wanna look for like a decorative tray and then we're just gonna peruse and see what's there by the way i've been loving to watch everyone's like best products of 2019 and i'm i'm still like on the hunt for a good primer so i'm trying out milk's hydro grip primer and another primer i got is the cover fx gripping primer and this one was recommended by tati her recommendations are always on point so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like this so yeah today we're gonna try out the milk hydro grip Primer for first impressions. It's like very tacky like it's like you put it on and you're like, okay I feel like my face is ready for some application one of you guys recommended the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer with SPF 30 So that's what we're gonna try today. I like want like kind of a natural look but not like 
too too natural like I still want my face to be covered I wonder if this is like the correct amount to put on I feel like I'm putting on a lot it's definitely watery and I feel like because I'm using a beauty blender a lot of the products like being thinned out it's like definitely getting rid of that redness but it's not like spackle you know what I mean okay a couple of tips for the Rose Bowl flea market definitely get there as early as you can like you can get there at like 6 a.m. I think but then it's just like really expensive to get in it's like I think it's like $30 to get in and that's like if you really really are like itching to get like the best things but you know there's 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 a lot of things there there's no need to have like a scarcity mentality for the Rose Bowl flea market so I think like getting there at like 9 9 30 should be good we got some blush highlighter brows mascara and just the gloss do I want a lip color? Okay, I'll give this a go. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like hard candy, like a peach hard candy. Okay, okay, I'm good, okay, I'm good. We are ready, it's a lovely day. It is really a lovely day. And we stopped by Whaley's and she let us borrow this cart. This is exactly what you need. Right, lovely. Put all our knickknacks in here. Knickknacks. It's like essentially wow. like the, those carts that like old. People old have. Yeah, exactly. They're great. We retrieved the ticket. been here for like a good hour and a half? About an hour maybe. Yeah. Have not gotten anything. Well we got lemonade and pretzel. And then once we buy something we'll you know we'll get the flow going. Mm -hmm. Some great stuff but it's just hard when we, we kind of want we specific, don't, things. specific things. I'm back home. We've got some lights set up in the back. I am going to be filming a video tomorrow with my friend Pony. She is in. LA and I'm so excited if you guys don't know who Pony is you guys are severely missing out I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys do but she does incredible makeup videos here on YouTube She's very skilled and she's awesome. If I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm gonna be speaking Korean for that entire video just a warning I have a very like thick accent with my Korean. It's like, a, it's like a thick American accent when I speak Korean. But one of my uh, 30 before 30 goals is to really, really improve my Korean. Like, I have reached out to a couple of tutors uh, for to, like, to teach me Korean better. And um, it's, it's gonna happen at some point. I just need to schedule it in. It was also really nice to see my parents because I mean, they're my parents and I love them. And it was nice to get to spend some time with them. And just the bonus Jonas, I was able to practice my Korean. I feel like my whole day was just like spent at the flea market. I got so much stuff, but not home goods. Like we went in with like a vision. We're like, we're gonna get catch-alls. We're gonna get like decorative knickknacks. Nothing spoke to either of us. But once I got to the clothing section of the flea market, I was like, I'm at home, it all makes sense, and because I'm addicted to buying clothes, okay? Like, f***ing sue me. It is what it is. And this is all, like, sustainable, it's vintage, it's supporting local businesses, you know? We're stimulating the economy. I'm just trying to justify all my, all my purchases, but I will show you guys uh, in another clip. But tonight, gonna be editing. Very natural to prep to Primer is not 별로 근데 근데 이런 거를 나한테 서제스트 해줘도 돼. 오케이 오케이. 이렇게 누르면은 비용. 오. 그리고 원투 그리고 원투 쭉. 거기 광고야 미국으로. 진짜? Oh my god, I literally thought your dog was like made in America. That makes no sense. We are going to eat some 떡볶이. 그런 like spam, team spam, 스팸 이거. 
스팸 마사지라고 할 뻔했어. 뭐라고 해야 되지? 많이 와. 굳었어. Oh my god, can you just put it like this? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. 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 Wow. 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 Okay. 내 생각에는 oh. 이거를 나누자 그냥. Oh, okay. 뭔 말인지 알지? Oh, oh. 서로의 그거를 Each one a personal 어. one. 좀 비슷하게 하고 싶어. <웃음> 와우 와우. 여기 이제 파이널 어, 파이널 타이자 파이널 데코. 와우. 앞으로 숙제도 있고 그래서. I just got off the call with my Korean tutor. I found one on takelessons.com. I'm taking this seriously. I had the option of getting a five week class or a ten week class, and I went for five just to see how me and this teacher work out. I think it's gonna go pretty well. I'm I'm excited. Filming with Pony yesterday was so much fun. Honestly, I didn't realize like how fast time was going because uh, like the filming the get ready with me video like took a good like I it took two hours and thirty minutes. And then we filmed the mukbang, which I think took like another hour. I mean, my Korean side is literally so rusty. I feel like there's like cobwebs on there. I it it needs to be fine tuned. So. I think if anything, those video clips will be uh, like a good piece of evidence of like how my Korean was before. We'll see what it looks like in five weeks and then ten weeks. And I want to make I want to be really adamant about this. Like I really really want to speak better Korean because I just would like to have a even like deeper relationship with my parents and also my grandparents. I feel like my pronunciation and my grammar structure can be. Hella improved. I have two furry bucket hats now. These are from Me Mine. This is very like early 2000s, and I am living for it. I've been on a freaking roll. One thing that I'm very proud of is I've been meditating every day. I hit a 15-day streak on calm. I want to see how long I can go, but I don't want to have that. Like co competitive nature get into my head because I've told the story before, but I used to use Headspace. They also have badges and streaks. However, they only reward you from like the first seven days, and then it's the first thirty days. From thirty days, it goes directly to ninety, and so somewhere in between, like my sixty days, I like missed one session, and I just fucking lost it. That was like two years ago. That was two thousand seventeen, and so I had to take a break from. Meditation apps because I was using it incorrectly. Because like, what kind of person gets upset about missing a meditation streak? Like, clearly I was using it wrong. So even though I have like a 15-day streak on the Calm app, eventually there's gonna be a day where I just can't meditate. And when I break the streak, I'm not gonna be like ah, oh, like flipping over the table. So I'm just trying to be like, it's about like being consistent but not like obsessive. I forgot to do a couple of graphic notes for my favorite books video that's coming out. I'm doing another one. I think by the time you're watching this, it's already up. So please go watch it. I did my top 10 favorite books I've read last year. So this is my Baja taco salad. And here's Ashley. Hi. <laughs> the she's, real snack. <laughs> she's really, she's leaving for New York. I know. <sighs> I'm so glad I got to see Jen before I left. We see each other about every like four months. <laughs> yeah. We're doing our best here. That's true. It's I am back from my lunch with Ashley. We went to Jewel, which is one of my favorite spots. We just wanted to get lunch before she moved to New York. She is so inspiring. Just her hustle, her creativity, her intellect. She's like the whole package. I also wanted to give you guys an update about all the things that I got at the Rose Bowl flea market because I never got around to it. So we're gonna do that right now before I forget. I'm actually wearing one of the pieces right now. This is a Velvet Underground crew neck. I will always have a fascination with the late 60s, especially during the Andy Warhol factory days. The Velvet Underground was one of the bands that would always play there. And I got this for $10. So this is my next item. It's this almost like speckled acid washed hoodie from Nike. I decided on this yellow one because like it's like warm but also cool tone. There's like gray speckled bits in it so I love the fact that I can like mix and match different uh, silver and gold jewelry with this. It's just a really like flexible but comfortable piece that I can wear to a kickback, to the grocery store, to seeing my parents, all types of events. <laughs> I love Big t-shirts! I love big t's. I feel like Mickey is iconic. 
he will always be in style. And I especially love the colorway. It's in this like lovely gray stone wash and it's super comfortable. I love that it's it goes over my butt so I can wear it with like biker shorts. I can just wear it like this. I can wear it around the house. So this next purchase is actually Ben's. This is the only thing he got and I think I'm gonna steal it from him. It's like a figure skater. I this is completely illegible to me. I don't know what it says, but I like love how large the graphic is. Like it goes all the way across the chest and I just feel like it's a super flattering shape. And also the silhouette, it's got like a nice drop shoulder, also covers the butt. I also like the colorway. It's like red, white, and blue. It's kind of like patriotic, but not too much in your face because there's like literally a figure skater on here. I feel like my graphic tea collection is just like continuing to grow and grow and um, I'm not mad about that. So this next item is definitely the most expensive item by far. This was a hundred dollars and it's because it's like a jacket first of all and it's suede. It's got this crazy fringe everywhere. It's definitely your statement jacket. I saw it and I was like Coachella. And I've always wanted like a very substantial, vintage, kind of like cowboy-esque jacket. And it's like, I swear to God, this is like made for like children because like I can barely go like this. Like, I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna like bust open from it. But I know, I think it'll stretch out eventually with wear. I also love that it has pockets here. It's got like a really, really deep pocket in here and it has two pockets in here. So if I, I do decide to wear this jacket out, I don't need a purse because my phone, my wallet will fit here. And then like maybe like a lip gloss in the other and I'm good to go. Sensing a theme here, just another baggy shirt but this one has no graphic this is a navy tie-dye long sleeve i love the neckline on here it's like kind of like a mock neck but it's not like constricting it's like nice and open and breathable i think this is like one of my favorite purchases it's this beautiful kelly green cardigan it's got like an emblem here i recently saw pleasantville on a plane this whole vibe reminded me of that it, it's like if pleasantville and slytherin came out with a cardigan it would be this. I also got these acid wash denim jeans. Like I've never seen like this colorway before where it's like almost like a yellow tint. Imagine me wearing this with this, like how cool would that look? I also got these gray denim jeans. They're also slightly like acid wash and they're high-waisted. That was my Rose Bowl flea market haul. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. It happens every second Sunday of the month. Uh, tonight, I am going to Whaley's launch party for her collab with Physicians Formula. I'm so excited for her and so proud of her. It's my first event that allows dogs. So we're gonna bring little Chippo and uh, she's gonna make some new friends and run around. So I am excited. It's gonna be good, man. As long as I'm safely in your arms And it don't really matter where we stand Don't pass, babe Space makes me sad Let me catch up I'm gonna get my hair done today. Gonna get the usual. I'm gonna get a haircut. My hair is like obscenely long right now. It's just a little bit too long. I wanna be able to wear my wigs again. I think I'm just gonna take like maybe three inches off. They're pretty long now, they grew out a lot. <laughs> is on my hair. Who is she? We went short. So short. So, as you can see, I cut my hair definitely shorter than what I was originally going for at that moment, but you know, I've been wanting to cut my hair short since like 2018. It was like after I got married, I grew, I grew up my hair long and I was like, oh Anna, I'm gonna cut it short for our honeymoon. Then the honeymoon happened. And then like all of 2019 happened and I was like, I'm gonna cut my hair in the summer. Like it just kept on getting postponed. Now that we're in 2020, I was like, you know what, F it. I'm like tired of this long hair. I just feel like it, 
symbolically holds a lot of baggage, especially from last year. So I just decided to snip it and I feel so free. My hair has never been healthier. Like, you know when you just get a fresh cut and the edges feel like, the only word I can think of is like buoyant, but it almost like bounces back because it's so healthy. I feel really fresh and it's definitely a big change for me. And I'm like really excited. I feel like my long hair, I almost kind of used it as like a, kind of like a safety blanket in a sense. I don't know. I just I just didn't want to be attached to it anymore. And I feel like with this short hair, you could see my outfits better. It's just like a, a fresh, fun look that I can try. And the thing with hair is, it will grow back. So it's not a big deal. I also wanted to cut it shorter so I can wear more of my wigs again because my hair was getting so long that the back of my wigs were just too large. So now that it's nice and short, I can, you know, have the freedom to wear any type of like wig that I want, which is really cool. But Anna did such a great job with the cut, the color. She did the usual, the highlights, the lowlights, the remoist, and now a cut. And I absolutely love it. plus <laughs> <laughs> one. Oh, what? Uh, 그럼 천. 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 